Welcome back. Outdoor dining options just became more plentiful at Atlantic Station thanks to the addition of a popular neighborhood tavern to the lineup. Yeah, Hobnob has opened its doors and featuring a menu of what it calls Tavern Fair with Southern Flair. Good days, Paul Milliken is live there this morning. Paul, I've heard they got some pretty good burgers. In fact, I've not only heard that, I've actually featured them a few years back at their Brookhaven location. Do they still serve the Triple B? Yeah, they told me. They, yeah. they told me all about it and said, Paul, we've been waiting to get you here to undo the <laughs> damage they? that you d did at Buck Lanford a couple <laughs> years ago. Yeah, so I'm yeah. here to save the day as I always am. I gotta tell you, you know, I love the Brookhaven location. Dunwoody one is great. This is fantastic. It is brand new here at Atlantic station and again so many of us are looking for outdoor dining i hear it from viewers all the time there is so much space here so we're up on the rooftop patio it is a gorgeous view you got the green right down there you can take your food and sit in the green and eat there's also a downstairs patio and then big windows everywhere so it's easy to space out to relax and to eat and speaking of eating jonathan's hoarding the food over here man I am. This looks amazing. Jonathan St. Hilaire, so good to see you, man. How you are too. you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great now that I'm here. And congrats <laughs> on opening. So you Thank just you. opened March 2nd? March 2nd, yeah. About wow. uh, three years in the making. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about Hobnob. First of all, for people that have never been before, what, what do you serve here? Uh, this is, you know, tavern fare with a little bit of a southern flair to it. Yeah. So, you know, we kind of... We, we get to cross the boundaries a lot with, with what we can do and play with and, and, and different uh, ingredients all the time. So, yeah. um, you know, definitely known for our burgers, wings, um, a lot of other stuff we're doing now, new on the menu. Yeah. So. Well, you were saying that before that, you know, a lot of us, we've been coming to Hobnob for a long time, but you're really kind of up in your game right now with we the are. menu. Yeah, we're starting to get into, um, you know, using local farmers, trying to get more organic. Nice. Uh, all of our beef comes from Stone Mountain cattle. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's just, we're, we're really trying to just kind of push the envelope a little bit and just, you know, do as, as good as we can. Of so. any place you could be, I got to think, this spot <laughs> at Atlantic Station, uh, you can't get better. No, this is, I mean, this is ground zero. This is where it all happens yeah. day in and day out. Doesn't matter, uh, rain or shine, it's happening right here on the green. The Jumbotron when it's on, I mean, it is packed. Yeah, so. okay, so let's talk about all the outdoor space too. So you've got a couple of different locations people can be. This rooftop patio, 21 and up, right? It's 21 and up. This is our high up bar. Mm -hmm. So it's 21 and up. Uh, we have massive selection of bourbon, scotches, um, you name it, we have it, frozen drinks, uh, fish bowls, everything. So definitely more of that 21 and up crowd. It, you know? It's so, really cool up yeah. here and just so open, which I love. And then downstairs, yeah. you've got the big open patio down there too. Yeah, uh, a lot of seats down there. So it's it's great. I mean, that's, definitely families love sitting out there. Everyone loves sitting out there, obviously, when the weather's nice. Yes. You know, this time of the year, it's, it's phenomenal. It's, it was a perfect time to open up. It so, was, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk about food. I'm hungry. All what right. have we got on the table here, man? Oh, my Lord, we got so much. Um, you know, vegetarian option over here okay. um, with our mother nature bowl broccolini um, avocado oh, pickled cool. red onions uh, just really really nice um, tomato bisque we always have um, our hobnobber burger one of our signature burgers mm -hmm. um, a new item a couple new items here that we put on was our ribeye steak with uh, fried smash red bliss potatoes uh, cream napa cabbage uh, we also have our skirt steak here Ooh. with um, roasted poblano grits and uh, fried onions definitely one of my favorites right now and then uh, our chicken pot pie which is uh. has been on for a while we just you know, can never take it off no matter how no hot way. it is outside, but people love it. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. good to see you again. You I got to say real quick before we wrap, for those of you that are avid Good Day Atlanta viewers, longtime viewers, Jonathan St. Hilaire was part of one of the great moments of all time <laughs> on Good Day Atlanta. We did a cornhole match one time with an unprecedented run of like just nailing it every time. So yep. anytime you're up for a rematch. All right, we can do it. All right, sounds okay. good. But before we do that, we gotta eat and we'll be eating more coming up in the nine o'clock hour. So stay tuned. That's so unfair. My green juice just didn't do the trick. <laughs> you know, he mentioned <laughs> that this has been juice? three <laughs> years in the planning stages. Oh my. Paul, I looked it up. It was almost exactly three years ago that we featured them. So obviously it was the burger with Buck Bounce that promoted them to open another restaurant. Again, it was, it was three years of getting a spot they knew Paul Milliken would come to to undo the damage of Buck Lanford. Yeah, because it's you. difficult to get you to come eat somewhere. You're right. Good point. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> High demand. <laughs> Paul, thank you.